you can see me all right Okay, uh, I'm sorry I was experimenting with the sound. Uh, this is the first time I tried to do something like this. 
uh, uh, ultimately the music should get automatically lower when I start speaking so it should be okay uh, I will just restart the stream I'll be right back Okay, it should work. Hi everyone, um, the music should get lower when I start speaking, um, but I wanted you to listen to me, uh, to listen to the music when I'm not speaking. I have a little bit of cold today, so um, with this I wanted to do, uh, I wanted to play you some music while I'm not speaking. I'll be still answering your questions and speaking while I'm drawing, but uh, my voice today is um, not really uh, not really good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so today I want to do a live uh, drawing in ink. Uh, so uh, we will draw, draw a, a scene in ink. I'll just switch to my camera. Okay, so here is my sketchbook. Um, today we are using the um md paper cotton sketchbook um uh, which has really nice white cotton paper of high quality this is f2 size uh, all the tools are listed uh, under the video okay and um for the sketch i'll be using just like a pencil and uh, for the lines we'll be using this uh, in the graph pen, uh, so the pen that um, I told you about some time ago, uh, this is the pen that can be used, the fountain pen that can be used with uh, waterproof black India ink. But first, um, you probably saw uh, the uh, reference, so this is what uh, we will be sketching or no, drawing today. And I already did uh, this picture once. To test it uh, on a different paper like this and I want to do something similar to this but um, I want to fix some things that I don't really like in this uh, in this sketch in this drawing uh, I'm not really um, confident yet uh, in drawing with just ink with just a pen so this is my way of uh, kind of practicing and um, yeah Okay, um, this sketchbook was um, provided for me by the uh, MD paper company uh, to test it. Uh, I did the recent uh, pencil streams also with this one. Uh, so you already uh, saw me sketching in this with, uh, with pencils, but today I want to try it with, uh, with ink. So um, first we will do a really simple sketch with uh, a pencil I just want to kind of um, mark where all the things should be and I'll insert details with um, just with my um, with my ink with my fountain pen okay so uh, just like really roughly I'll mark the horizon line like about here and um, trees around here there's like a, a thing that has I think it's called wisteria the plant the, the, the flowers uh, by the way the reference photo should appear like every two minutes so you'll be able to see the reference photo while I'm drawing and um, there is like a shrub or a bush here and there is water here and this is not a Tory gate it's a just a kind of not flood gate but how do you call it like a wooden gate to close and open the, 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 the flow of the water so this is probably just a device to regular re regulate the flow uh, of the water to some kind of pond or something okay and something 
it like this I want to make it bigger yeah, so like here and um, like this and here will be the, the the gate thing I'll just switch to the reference so you can see it for, for a second and some plants here like a bridge here some plants here I'm, I'm really um, sketching um, with few details only just to decide the, the, the si size and composition but um, all the details I will add later to the drawing um, when I go for the pen Konnichiwa It's really hot today in Japan I have my air conditioning on and my computer is loud probably just um, spewing hot air okay so like plants here and here I wanted to ask is is the music getting uh, a bit lower when I start speaking or uh, or not Okay it, it should be it should be getting lower Okay, so around around here. Okay, so I have the wisteria plant, and I have uh, some of the and I want a small house here. Okay, and this the house on the photo that I'm using on the reference is not really big, uh, but I want to make it bigger so um, it's better for the um, composition. that's it um, this is like the this is like the picture that uh, I want to draw with my ink hello everyone bit so you can see the whole thing okay so we here we have the water gate thing some plants here some plants here uh, the house in the distance and um, maybe I'll make it this smaller Okay, so as I said, I did this before to test it and it looked kind of like this But with this picture, I think I put a bit too many details I um, made these lines too close to each other. So it's kind of overcrowded and uh, this is uh, 
what I would like to fix in the second version that I'll be doing right now. Okay, so uh, for the uh, for this picture, I'll be using this uh, pen, which is the Indigraph, and. Um, the Kickstarter for this pen is already ended and probably you'll be able to buy it just regularly on their website. But uh, this is still like the prototype model that I'll be using here. Okay, so I want to start with the Watergate part uh, because it's best to start from the part that uh, has to have um, more details. So it's nice to start from the part that um, uh, is kind of in front and is the main part uh, while you still kind of feel fresh and want to um, want to draw many details and then when you kind of get tired and you go for the background it's better uh, keep uh, to keep this kind of um, how do you call it in Japanese it's Junban but uh, I always forgot the word in Japanese the order of, of, of drawing okay so let's Sorry, let's start to add some plants here. Okay, so I'm adding the plants, so um, I want to keep it kind of half random. want to add some elements that are not in the original photo. I don't know, let's just let's just draw draw something here. Okay, so let's do the water gate here. I'm trying to make the lines a bit wavy on purpose, so they are not like really straight. I'm um, adding this kind of wood texture, so like wood grain here and there to make this part to look different than the other parts in this picture.
Yeah, I don't know the details, but um, they are building something that will be called Ghibli Park, which will be bigger than the original Ghibli Museum. Um, it's an um, extension of uh, the original kind of um, recreation of uh, the building from uh, your neighbor Totoro. So the, the, the house of the characters was recreated somewhere, I think, near Nagoya and uh, they used this as a like a starting point to make a full-blown um, like theme park but um, it it's not like so big like Disneyland for example or something like that but um, it will be kind of uh, impressive from what I've seen <clears throat> this is uh, just a drawing uh, based on uh, a photo that we made with um, uh, I made with Kana uh, while we were um, just in uh, a Japanese garden called Korakuen. It's in uh, Tokyo. Yeah, it's just a cold. <clears throat> we had um, some bad weather. Rainy season started, so it's hot and cold. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. Actually, no matter. I have my uh, cough medicine, so I should be okay. Okay, so I'm trying to keep this uh, kind of loose, not to put too many details, even though I'm uh, doing the front um, the foreground here so even the the, the that the um, plant has leaves like this I'm trying not to put like lines too close to each other so uh, I don't overcrowd this part Drawing is really important if you want to get um, the perspective right and the shape of the um, stuff right. I guess for my watercolor drawings, the drawing stage is about maybe 40% <clears throat> of the finished picture. Good to have a nice base to work with. It's 
so when you start uh, painting you know that oh at least the perspective and the shape of things is, is, is working well for my night uh, scenes the, the the book I'm doing right now uh, the sketches that I do are really detailed sometimes so um, I can spend a whole day just uh, or a day and a half just sketching with my pencils the, the, the scene and this sketch will later uh, be erased completely so okay so I want to add some plants here and they are further away than this part so I'll try to keep them more simple less lines with this pen, with this nib, I, I don't have so much uh, control over the width of the line. Uh, so I'm drawing like I would with um, felt tipped, like multi liner or something like that. Um, but I, like, I actually like uh, how thin uh, it is. It's a bit too thin to be used on watercolor paper, I guess. But for um, this kind of smooth sketchbook paper, it's uh, ideal. Okay, and um, here we have the wisteria. I think it's called a wisteria. Is it called a wisteria? Can some someone confirm? <laughs> like this, 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 this part in the middle here. <laughs> I think it's called a wisteria, but I may be wrong. Yay! I was right. Thank you. So yeah, I'm, I'm uh, currently working on my upcoming book Tokyo at Night and I already did um, 26 of the needed 30 illustrations that will be uh, made uh, for this book. So I only have four left. Yay! Uh, but because the, the deadline is kind of tight, uh, I have to finish them soon. The book will be um, dual language, like my previous book. So uh, in one book you will have Japanese and uh, English text uh, side by side. I'm, I'm doing this mostly because uh, with this you'll be able to buy the book in English when it's released. So um, you uh, won't be um, forced to wait like years for the English or French or whatever version. Um, this approach creates its own problems, uh, but um, yeah. Okay, so here I'm draw drawing some plants that are closer, and I just want to show you some of the inspiration I'm using for this. Um, so here I have a black thing. Uh, some sketchbooks of a person that's called uh, Jared Muralt, I think that's how, how you read his name and I really like his works so I have um, his books uh, to help me with um, this kind of details because I'm not really used to drawing um, whole scenes by uh, with using just ink uh, so this is one of my inspirations and um, second one is a guy called um, his nickname is Shunshun and he's a Japanese illustrator doing illustrations for books and covers for books and, and for magazines and I really like his works also so um, 
I'm kind of trying to do um, to learn a lot from uh, those two illustrators uh, to level up my ink drawing skills here. Having um, English and Japanese side by side is really useful and I know that a lot of you um, like this format of the book uh, but because the book uh, already has English inside it's hard to get a publisher for example in the US to publish it um, outside of Japan uh, the English version because it already exists so um, it's kind of good and, and a bad solution because um, if a publisher in US would um, pick up, uh, up the book and would um, publish uh, a US version uh, it would be I would be able to um, put it on US Amazon but because it's not published uh, in US um, it, it has some problems to be like put in on, on Japanese Amazon uh, on American Amazon <coughs> Oh, that's a nice thing to know about the, the nickname. Okay, so I want to do this part here. Let's try to keep it kind of simple so we can show a bit of the distance. やってます。減らしてみてる。もうやはりのどがひどくやられてるんで。皆さんにもしあげて。あ、今あの so um if you ah uh, what is uh, which pen is your favorite um i like fountain pens because uh, of few things i like fountain pens because you can use them for a long time and uh, they don't break so easily you can replace nibs you can get them uh, repaired if you if you break them uh, you can use a lot of inks uh, but their um, biggest flaw is that uh, if you use waterproof ink like India ink in a regular fountain pen and you leave it open for some time or you don't use it for a week or two, uh, you probably will uh, clog it with waterproof ink, which is not so easy to remove because um, the substances that would um, they call it, remove the ink would uh, probably also damage the pen. Uh, or the inside uh, of the pen and um, it would damage the pen so uh, it's not really safe to use like waterproof ink with fountain pens with regular ones um, that's why for my regular inks I use just a Lamy uh, fountain pen because it's nice and um, re reliable and you can repair it you can replace the nib and it's nice but um, for things like like this like waterproof black ink um, I recently got the Indigraph uh, from the maker to test it before he did the kickstarted, uh, Kickstarter and uh, I like it actually because it also has a lot of nibs that you can choose 
and um, you can repair it because uh, they offer like parts and, and you can buy replacement nibs and you can use whatever ink you want it doesn't have to be waterproof so um, for a daily driver pen which is really, really um, built like a tank and you can take it with you anywhere and uh, just draw with your waterproof ink and then for example use watercolors on the sketch um, it's a perfect choice but um, yeah, I'm not a person that uses a lot of fountain pens and, and um, like a fountain pen lover that um, has a, a lot of them. So I don't think I have a lot of fountain pens that I can compare this with. But for me, it's, it's okay. Uh, I'm kind of not really sick about the Olympics. Um, It's not something I, I, I think about. Uh, I did get some offers that were related to um, the Tokyo Olympics, uh, but um, mostly they were um, companies asking me to do stuff um, like in anime style, uh, like a popular, popular um, di digital painting animation style. So uh, I was not really into it. But um, so um, that's why I'm, I'm not doing anything related to the Olympics. Yeah, um, Hayao Miyazaki used the pastels because um, he uses watercolors just as a means to color things quickly and without fuss but uh, where he needed to put some more intensive co colors or co cover some things that um, require some white details or, or sorry light details he was using the uh, pastels to, to do it and um, it's a nice thing if you if you want to use mixed me media you can um, connect watercolors with pastels or pastel pencils uh, because watercolor when it dries it's still matte a matte surface so you can use anything any kind of media on top of it just um, you have to be careful with things like felt tip pens or fountain pens because um, when you start drawing on top of watercolors you can um, kind of dissolve the paint and pick up the pigment so you can clog up your um, especially font and uh, felt tip pens yeah I'm glad I was able to stream also because I didn't know if my um, throat will be up to it yeah I did I did get some offers but none of them was um, kind of along my creative way uh, I don't like to accept um, commissions that I don't have to accept and are not um, kind of um, works that I would like to make so I didn't yeah probably as an event to just go and see it would be awesome I don't know if uh, at uh, the time of the Olympics we will be still like um, near enough to Tokyo to, to actually go and see any of it. There are some events uh, related to sailing, um, really close to the place where we are li li living li right now. Um, but yeah, because um, we sometimes move. Uh, For the Olympics or, or not, I don't know yet. For nib drawing, yeah, something like a, a manga paper uh, is, is good. 
like pen to paper or, or man manga paper is, is nice for, for inking with a nib. But you can also ink with a nib on, on all kinds of papers. I tested like um, a lot of papers because I was looking for something that could be used with a nib and also painted on with watercolors. Um, and I found, for example, that some canson papers work well, actually. I think there's one called 1557 or something like that, like a date. And um, also there's one that's called Segren, I think, like C um, dash grain. And that too uh, also worked well. So we have a thatched roof here, so I want to put some texture so it looks nice and thatched properly. It also depends on what style of drawing you, you, you do, if you are just like drawing lines and, and nothing more then any better smooth paper will, will do but uh, if you are doing like um, more put, putting more ink onto the places or drawing over places that you already did and coloring in with the nib uh, you need a paper that's a bit more hard wearing For example, here I'm using uh, just a sketchbook, which is not really so um, like thick and, and, and heavy paper. Yes. Like this. This, is, uh, this paper is actually better for pencil sketching, it has a bit of texture to it. But um, I like the thickness of the line that uh, this pen is making on this paper, so I wanted to try it. It's good to test a lot of things before you start. Uh, if you can get some like paper sample packs, you can start uh, testing be before buying a lot of the same paper. But once you find a paper that works for for you and for your work, and you you want to do a comic or something, you can buy like, 100 100 sheets or something like that. Then, hello. Okay, so I want to do like a what do you call it? shrub here. I was doing a lot of drawing styles actually, um, and of course when I start started working um, in the animation studio I had to kind of match the style of other um, artists working there so the whole thing when it's finished looks um, like just one piece of animation so I have to I had to adjust my uh, digital drawing style to other people's um, styles so that's of course uh, the case but um, I think I'm uh, inspired by a lot of artists, a, a lot of things that I see in the internet, so it's not only 100% Japanese art, but um, I like to take uh, a lot of things from um, Japanese artists, even though I don't do the same thing that they do. For example, I don't do like 100% Japanese manga style drawings. Uh, like uh, black and white with a nib pen but i like some methods that they use for like cross hatching or doing details or drawing trees or whatever so whenever i find something that's kind of interesting and relevant relevant uh, for me i like to ad adopt it adopt it into my style
So I'm influenced by Japanese art a lot because this is what I mostly see here in, around me, but um, not only by, by Japanese art. So for example here this building is pretty far so I'm trying to keep it a bit simpler than the things that are in front but still I'm trying to keep it kind of realistic enough so even though the drawing style is simple you can get what what it is I don't watch a lot of uh, YouTube artists. Um, I, I really love to see the sketchbooks uh, done by Matthias Adolfsson. Uh, he does like this kind of really weird and crazy and wonderful um, drawings, pen and watercolor drawings of robots and cities and all kinds of stuff, uh, which is uh, just overflowing with imagination and on his youtube channel he has like um, uh, videos in which uh, he shows his sketchbooks like page by page and every page is is, is just um, astonishingly interesting so i recommend his account I recommend Kana's account. You have to go and see Kana's animations, and she also um, uploads like making of videos. And we added uh, subtitles, so even though uh, the video is in Japanese, you can um, understand what she's saying. I want to try maybe not wood carving, but print making. Like uh, I have. A set of tools to make prints with, um, like, a, what do you call it? Lino prints. Uh, but I still didn't have time to to get to it. But um, when I finish the book, I want to rest and do some just fun stuff. That fun stuff that uh, I'm putting off because I'm really busy right now. This is something also I would like to ask to you. Do you follow a lot of like art related YouTube channels? Oh, that's interesting. For now, I, I bought the lin uh, a lino set, so I'll just use that. But uh, wood is really also interesting. I also want to make some like just small stamps and stuff. Okay. I want to add some branches here. So there are some branches in between the leaves like this.
I do some programming. I have been playing around with um, my website a lot lately because I changed the uh, how it works. And now I am using uh, something that's called Jekyll. So it's like a system to make websites and that you have to maybe not code maybe not program but use a bit of html and stuff like that and, and css to to make it work and i'm having a bit of fun with it but yeah i would like to get to do some uh, programming and and um, electronics fun I like Japanese buildings, but I like buildings at all. Um, if, if, like interesting buildings, I like it. For example, um, lately I was doing some. Um, yeah, James Gurney is awesome. Uh, he's an awesome guy. I really like his uh, art channel and art videos. I actually bought some of his uh, tutorials about the gouache, and um, they were really excellent and. Um, I learned a lot from uh, from there so okay so here I want to do some like shading I want to fill the space behind the building with um, a bit of darkness so um, we get a bit of depth here but I don't want to make the lines too close to each other so um, it's not overcrowded so i have to kind of control the amount of strokes that i do A bit so you can see more of the whole picture add some kind of leaves and trash floating on the on the water here and here here and there so um looks a bit more interesting actually excited about this year's animation movies lineup uh, because there are I think four uh, full-length uh, animation movies that we want to see with Kana uh, I already we already went to see the, the Pro, Pro, Promea 
uh, movie which is uh, the new movie from studio trigger and it was excellent right really dynamic and then full of energy and um, if you liked animations like uh, Furikuri or um, Gure Nagan that it was just excellent and there are um, Kaiju no Kodomo so uh, the, the children of the, of the ocean I think I don't know how it translates to English which is um, also looking excellent there's a um, new movie by um, director Yuasa um, which is also looking excellent and there's a new movie from uh, Makoto Shinkai which is also looking very interesting um, so uh, we are really excited um, for this year's animation season because there are just uh, four excellent titles coming up um, I know that the Promea is already like bought by an American distributor so you'll be able to see it uh, in cinemas probably all over the world and um, the other three movies should be there also so um, this is really interesting for Yeah, going uh, for a uh, year kind of working vacation kind of break thing outside of Japan is kind of what I'm actually thinking about not soon but um, somewhere in the future probably um, just uh, like a change of, 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 of scenery and, and stuff that inspires so I would like to do that I know that um, the director Makoto Shinkai, when he finished his movie, I think five, not five centimeters be uh, per second, like the one before that, uh, he went to London for a year and he was working on the new story there. So, where would I go? Um, I would like to go to England, for example, and, and Scotland. I was there for some time. Uh, when I was uh, still um, in the university in Poland, so uh, I liked it very much and I would like to go again and spend more time there uh, We are kind of also interested in Canada uh, Places where at least I can um, communicate But uh, also uh, I'll be going to France next year for the um, master classes lectures uh, so I'll be giving a lecture there um, in March, I think. So this is also exciting. Nope, this is not pre-recorded. I'm live. There is a lag though, so um, uh, where I'm not 100% live. It's like 10 seconds um, behind, I guess. just <clears throat> check on the website of the event I don't remember now um, if you said search for um, I'll be I'll be um, having this on my uh, Twitter hi I have uh, all the like G pens and Mario pens um, 
and I actually like them uh, in most of the aspects but um, for me they are a bit too sharp so you have to be careful when you uh, draw I like the smooth action of a fountain pen a bit better um, I like that um, I can draw like cir circles without going around uh, with the nib and I don't have to care about the direction in which I'm drawing so much so um, for me fountain pen is a bit more convenient uh, this music uh, uh, all the tracks here are from a website called uh, epidemic sound this is um, a website that um, for a monthly fee allows you to use a lot of music for your um, kind of YouTube videos and stuff and I'm just paying my monthly fee and using this music because I wanted to have uh, a bit more variation in the music I'm using also for my videos and for my live streaming so um, you can just go the, to the epidemic sound thing and check it out just search for like um, alternative hip-hop kind of uh, music and you'll find a lot of nice tracks there this is by the way um, one of the places where I use um, the support I'm getting from Pat Pat Patron so um, I would not be able to use um, a website like Epidemic Sound uh, without your support monthly and so you can pay the monthly fee for the Epidemic Sound stuff. I want to do some longer videos on YouTube also, um, like edited videos, not live. Uh, and I needed some music for this uh, to... Not to bore you to death with to death with the same tracks all the time. It's really hard actually to find a really nice music that is um, copyright right free or um, can be used in uh, YouTube videos. trying to suggest some trees in the back and usually I would draw the branches like with two lines but because the trees are really far and I want to keep this simple I would try to use just one line two lines I mean like, like here two lines but um, trying to keep the lines kind of loose I would love to develop a style of inking like sketching like this that would be good enough that could be actually used for something like for uh, backgrounds for a comic or, or a zine or whatever I still require a lot of practice I guess but I'm enjoying this um, especially with a fountain pen I really enjoy drawing like this it's completely different than the things that I do with watercolors so it's a nice refresher for me too the problem is that most of the, the the comic stuff I was doing is in color and it's um, it looks nice but uh, it's really hard to get printed uh, in a reasonable uh, kind of price so I could make for example 100 copies or something like that sign them and then put them on my online store or something and this is one of the things i would like to do uh, so for me it would be easier to do um, a black and white comic uh, that could be painted uh, in, printed more cheaply and um, it's kind of hard to do it um, 
for me still so come on no spamming やりすぎないように頑張らないとでもこのペンいいよそうねなんか乾かないし線の始まりがちゃんと始まるで、the thing that um uh, is important in fountain pens a, a good fountain pen should work like this one so when you start a line it should start immediately uh, so you don't have this kind of thin ghost line before the ink starts flowing and um, especially with waterproof ink with india ink um, it's um, it dries really fast so um i like i like how this uh, fountain pen handles it actually because i didn't have any um accidents of of line didn't uh, want that didn't want to start tips to, to 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 learn how to speak japanese speak a lot of japanese there's no other way um i tried to learn japanese before i came to japan uh, but it was really hard without anyone to kind of um, practice with and speak with and in uh, when i came to japan i had to learn japanese in three months so um that was kind of interesting but um you can actually learn the like really basic stuff in three four months uh, if you put a lot of effort to it and a lot of time i didn't do anything else just i was learning to speak japanese and this is also what helps like, um concentrated effort um so yeah yeah that's basically most mostly what i have to do but if you spend so much time on this you will learn really fast and um i would recommend to start uh learn to write and read parallel to your speaking skills and you cannot stop reading or writing in japanese if you stop uh, you will forget all the things um, really fast so um, even though i learned some of the uh, japanese kanji when i was learning japanese when i was at the university i kind of stopped using them because i was um, used to writing and and reading on the computer and i forgot almost everything so even now when i have to write or, or read something i uh, use like digital helps Hey, even Japanese uh, people forget a lot uh, of kanji right now because uh, mostly they write in uh, on the on their computers or cell phones and they forgot all they forget a lot of, of um, the letters. Ah, it's you. Okay, it was really. <laughs> <laughs> really nice and surprising thank you uh, I got a, a caricature of myself on Instagram and I was surprised and pleased to color um, manga uh, artists in Japan to color they use copics a lot so um, if they want to make a, a, a cover for their um, comic for example and they want to make it in color they will use uh, Copic markers a lot of times and um, I know a lot of uh, manga artists they, they use the uh, Copic, uh, Copic markers for this some of them use different things like um, one of uh, 
mine and Kana's favorite artist right now uh, uses a uh, like gouache or acrylic gouache for 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 um, painting the covers and stuff yeah, she's called Irie Aki and the covers look like outstanding but uh, from what I know she's like a uh, art college student so she's probably used to painting with these but uh, just straight uh, comic artists use Copics a lot for the color work. Okay, I'll just have to move the camera a bit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, right now there's a lot of people doing them digitally, but um, he asked about the ink, so I was wondering if, if some of them use the colorings, but not so much apparently. Copics are really popular in Japan. Now, uh, a lot of the comic artists use digital and um, also for the the um, black and white work and for the tones and for everything they use like um, Clip Studio. I don't have anything against digital if they kind of um, uh, keep their. Style. Um, so if the if the style of drawing does not get worse because oh well this is digital, uh, then I'm okay with it. But um, a lot of the comics that is done lately in Japan for um, the digital market, like the digital apps or something, um, are not so well drawn compared to to to. Um, traditional comics by traditional I mean like uh, published in paper I haven't tried casein but I have tried uh, acrylic gouache which with gouache, which is what from what I know similar um, it's also matte when it dries and it's also waterproof when it dries so it's similar to casein I would like to try it, but um, lately uh, we started to kind of limit ourselves in the amount of art supplies we buy to just to try. So um, the perfect scenario was, was would be to go to a studio that has a lot of stuff and to try things for a day or two and then just go home. Um, what I'm really sad about is that there is no shop. Um, that you could just go with your um, art supplies that you bought but are not using so much and just sell them that would be really great but um, suddenly there, I don't think there's a place like this at, at least not in Japan I haven't I haven't used a Fudenib fountain pen um, I would like to try because um, I like fountain pens for uh, drawing but um, most of the time I use tools that have not so much line variation even though even with um, uh, like the nib pens for for comic I would choose uh, the school pen or the saji pen not the, the the G pen that has a lot of line variation because it's just easier for me to uh, to use yeah I like digital or art too when it's well done I have uh, nothing against it and I, I have a lot of artists on, on, on Instagram for example that I follow that do digital art which is awesome but yeah it just it's just a bit sad 
uh, to see, for example, the, the, the tone uh, stickers, the, the, the tones, uh, the screen tones disappearing from art supply stores in Japan. When I came to Japan, it was still really standard to just taste them by hand. Uh, but now, if you go to some art supply stores, they don't carry them anymore. Which is similar to like, oh well, um, it's faster to paint on the computer, so let's just ditch watercolors. Yeah, that is it. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. That's what I mean. Yaku da ne. Hontoni. Ne. Ito mo to. Daijoubu desu. Digital art for me was a huge stepping stone in my art development because uh, uh, because I was able to paint scenery in Photoshop, I was able to get a job in Japan in an animation studio. So I'm really grateful about the ex the existence of of digital art, and I still love it, and I still do it. Uh, so. I don't have anything against it really but um, the same way that um, you have plastic packaging I would like to see also um, the traditional ways of doing things of making stuff um, be preserved and, and respected Which also has a bit of value in it, I guess. Good morning! There are a lot of times when I'm not really sure what I'm doing with my um, uh, traditional techniques. So I would, for example, make a photo of a line art like this and I would color it really roughly in, in Procreate just to make sure I'm doing stuff the right way and um, that the colors will work so um, i don't discriminate one method above the other but um, i think um, both c should be present <laughs> yes i mean you buy a bento for two people and a salad and your plastic trash bag is already full with with stuff and this is something that um, makes me just sad recently. here on the water like water texture kind of thing
<laughs> we don't need the we don't need the droids. Uh, we do, these are not the droids you're looking for. The same thing you have to do, do with the bags. I don't need your plastic bag. <laughs> but it's um, yeah, it's kind of interesting that one of the things that is fueling the like. Um, my bag movement is that they are kind of cool and retro and nice to have so it's it's nice to see isograph is also really good for a drawing like this isograph is perfect like you you take like 0.4 millimeter isograph and it would be perfect for a drawing like this it's just um that I'm still testing this uh, if I find anything wrong with this I can contact um, the guy who makes them and um, give them my opinion about stuff uh, the Kickstarter for these pens is already over so most of the design is decided but I met with uh, him in Tokyo I think a month ago and we talked a lot about what I liked and what I disliked about this pen but for my kind of daily driver that I want to have with me and just um, draw more with, I would like to draw more with it. Uh, it's nice, just a nice tool for me. The the rapidograph or the isograph is also very good, uh, but I like how metal this is and I can just put it in my um, pen case and have it with me all the time. Let's put a bit more stuff here and let's see what happens. I'm putting, even though this ink is waterproof, I, I have a kind of a bit of fear of putting my hand here, so I have my tissue, tissue paper, but it should be okay, even without using it. So. of simulate that there's something here but um, not put too many details like leaves and stuff so it doesn't overkill the the whole picture so um, this tree that's here in the front uh, I'll extend the trunk a bit here and try to add some branches and some leaves like around this shape because this is a pine I guess in English I'm 
Good night, <laughs> California. Good night, California. If you have any questions or things that you would like me to talk about, just write them in the chat. I will put I'll put up one more throat lozenge, so I should be able to speak. There's a lot of spam going on today. I have I have to fight it. Okay. put some <clears throat> trees here trees like this and I'll put a bit of shadow under the branches like here and here a big tree in the back so I will try to change the shape of the lines a bit so I can mark that it's a different tree than these two in the in the front so I'll paint it draw it with strokes like this like upgoing strokes to suggest that it's a bit different Good morning! Everyone is like from a different part of the world. One um, advice I can I can get I can give uh, for practicing composition is making sketches, but um, really simple ones. So you want to make sketches that are really small, like about this big, maybe smaller, eight centimeters maybe, and um, try a lot of compositions for your uh, art before you start drawing the real thing. So with my drawings, I would often go and do. Um, 10 sketches like really small thumbnails to uh, decide what composition would work best for this picture before I go with uh, the in with the, the real sketch and, and the lines for the finished picture and this helps a lot with um, deciding the composition and it also makes you kind of learn and try to get better because um, um, you need to make something for uh, you to be able to decide if it's good or not. So it's best to do a lot of small things and based on them uh, decide if you like them or not. Bef uh, rather than make a finished painting for example and decide oh the, 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 the composition was not good. So it's best to start really small with a lot of sketches, a lot of thumbnails and you can make them like um, black and white you can use a bit of you can use a bit of watercolors for example on them to to, to make to check the shadows and stuff like that but uh, uh, it's it's just really good to start really small and make a lot of these like if you ever um, did a comic for example you will notice that you learn a lot it, it's just because you are doing a lot of small drawings in a really short period of time and each of them you uh, have to be careful to to get right so um, you learn really fast and it's a similar thing uh, with with perspective um, to learn perspective you have to learn how to draw um, simple shapes in perspective so like boxes and and and, and tortoises and um, wheels and um, cubes and stuff like that if you um, get good at this um, then you can draw almost anything like every building can be simplified to every object can be simplified to uh, simple shapes so if you know your way about uh, drawing in perspective sh simple shapes 
accurately uh, you can draw almost anything for daily use also i don't know what do you mean by not expensive because um, i would uh, recommend something that's called um, waterford white which is a nice paper and it has a good balance of quality and, and, and price and I use it for a lot of my projects. You can also search for a paper that's called White Watson, like the Sh Watson from the Sherlock books. Um, White Watson is also good quality paper for the price. But um, you... Uh, you have a different choice of papers in, in each country, so you would have to go to a art supply store and ask them for some samples. Mostly you can buy like a sample pack of, of different papers that you can try and see which one you like the best, which one uh, works best with your pens and stuff. すみませんなんか僕のフォロワーとか登録者とかなんかこういう生放送見てる人たち大体英語なので大体英語でやってますなんだけどま見てくれてありがとうございますうん質問があればえっと必ず読んでやってもらっても<笑> Yeah, I'm using in Indian ink. This is, uh, I think this is like a, the carbon ink by Sailor, which is a nice waterproof ink. Do? Kawaii. うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
and um, they are doing all right so it should be possible to use a fountain pen as a main um, inking instrument i used a lamy fountain pen for um, all of the 24 um, paintings in my um, tokyo at night series and for now it's doing all right uh, i didn't have to replace the nib yet so um, even though i was using a water uh, color paper so it's a bit textured and it has a more um, on, rough surface and it has a more a significant impact on the on the nib it it's okay so it should be all, all right for like daily use with inking I have used acrylics but not um, just regular acrylics but acrylic gouache just a bit different and um, it's matte when it dries so I don't think it has uh, this more saturation that you are mentioning but um, I like it actually uh, because I can use different tools on top of that when it's dry I can use um, some pens or, or uh, color pencils to add some textures <clears throat> I have tried using acrylics on, on boards on wooden boards but um, I didn't like so much that it's kind of glossy when it's when it's dry Because I like the look of um, hand painted animation backgrounds, I like to sometimes uh, do paintings with yeah, gouache or um, poster colors. But uh, I don't really feel comfortable in them, so I like um, how when acrylic gouache is dry, uh, I can paint on top of the layers without being, being um, afraid that I'll destroy or lift the color from the layer that's already there so I can paint um, bright details on um, darker washes that are already dry without being afraid I'll disturb the paint and that's, on, that's on there already and this is a huge advantage for me um, so this is why I prefer uh, acrylic gouache than just regular gouache or um, poster colors. <clears throat> Hi. Hmm. 
no, I will not be adding color to this one, even though this is done with waterproof ink, so I could ther theoretically do it. Maybe I'll do it, but first I want to finish only with ink. This is um, a bit of a practice piece for me for, for uh, doing an illustration only with ink. Mm, so I'll be finishing this only with ink and uh, scan it. And then maybe um, later I'll add some colors, but I, I don't think that I will. I still have a lot of work to do uh, on the Tokyo at Night um, book things. So these will, will be uh, my priority right now. So as soon as I finish this drawing, I'll uh, move back to doing stuff for the for the book thank you <laughs> I will be doing more uh, digital things and other things that are not related with any other um, uh, works when I finish working on my book and I still have about a month to go so after that I will be able to do other things more often. Okay, and let, let us fill the left side and this will be the end. Yeah, this video will be left on my channel when it's when the stream is over. turned on my air conditioning and the wind seems to be drying the ink on the nib really fast.
so I think something like this maybe let me do a wait until it's dry and then I'll do a frame around it <clears throat> and just as well because the battery in my camera is showing red so uh, it will be over in just short time so I guess this is a one battery sketch not sketch drawing We are done. Where is the cup? Uh, here. I I do not always do textures and lines. I'll just I'm just trying in this drawing all kinds of stuff and textures that I don't usually do. Later I'll erase the the, the sketch when it's dry. I'll erase the sketch and I'll scan it and probably fix some things but um, not much and I'll upload it to my blog or uh, or to um, uh, the Patreon website also okay so I think that's it for for this thing um, I'm happy that you joined me today thank you for watching and from for asking questions and talking with me so um, I'll see you in the next video and um, I'm still fighting with uh, the stuff for my Tokyo at night book and when it's finished I'll be having a bit more time to do this kind of live streamings and more YouTube videos probably but now I'm kind of busy so this week only a live stream like this and maybe a next video next week or something like that so okay uh, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time and this is just um, the previous version I did this with a uh, friction pen to test things uh, but um, here is the new version done with a fountain pen and this is the MD paper cotton sketchbook okay this video will be av av available on my channel uh, later I'll just put a thumbnail on it and um, okay thank you for watching see you next time <laughs>